I'm going to finish up this Volume 1 course looking at Waves Dynamic Processors here by going a step further in what we talked about in the previous tutorial. We'll look at taking out some of the muddiness from the vocal file, and we'll start by looking at reducing the impact of the embedded reverberation. We'll do it by using the EQ mode again, and keep the reverb level low despite compressing the signal. Now here, once more, I've got the C1 compressor stroke gate, and it's inserted into the reverberated vocal file that we've already heard. I've got it set up already to pretty much de-reverberate the track, but at the moment it's in bypass mode here, so that you can hear the starting point prior to me taking it out of bypass and hearing the effect of these settings. Have a quick listen to it in bypass, here we go. Remember the time you were mine and you promised always there Cause I know that I do All our days turned to haze and vanished in the air Right, it sounds okay, but in my opinion, the reverb is muddying the sound too much. So I'll take it out of bypass by clicking here. Okay, and then I've set it like this. Now you might want to pause this movie to take down the settings, but just quickly, what I have is the following. I've got the threshold set to minus 41 dB, the ratio at 3 to 1, the attack is quite short at 2 milliseconds, although the release is longer at 50 milliseconds. Whereas the program dependent release, the PDR, is set to 300 milliseconds. Okay, that's the compressor settings. The EQ mode for the compressor module, well this is set to split for both modules, compressor and gate. And in terms of the gate, I've got the floor set to infinity. The gate opens at minus 72 and closes just below that at minus 88. The attack time is quite short again. 5 milliseconds. The release is 63 and hold is 0 0.05. Now in terms of the type, I've chosen bandpass and the frequency is around about 112, although you can adjust this. If I adjust it now to around about 130, well, what is that, 132? Okay, now set like this, the vocal is a lot lighter in terms of bass frequencies and also the highest frequencies too. Now I'll start playback and I'll adjust or sweep the EQ filter to hear what I think sounds good in terms of de-reverberating, i.e. in this case making it less prominent whilst I'm compressing the main body of the vocal. So that's what I'll do then, have a listen to this in action, in fact so that you can distinguish the difference I'll start off once more bypassed and then switch it in and out so that you can hear the difference. Now just be warned there is a little click or a thump as I vacillate between bypassed and not bypassed. And also, you'll notice a dip in volume too when I take it out of bypass. And that's only because I've not used the makeup gain. Ordinarily, I would do that. So, let's have a listen. Here we go. Remember the time you were mine and you promised always there. Cause I know that I do All our days turned to haze and vanished in the air I feel like we have to There isn't anything, baby That we can do Maybe we don't realize It's over now between me and you Okay, so apart from that dip in volume, because of the lack of makeup, it did sit better in the mix. It wasn't quite as muddy in all those lower frequencies. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll move on to a slightly different setup of the same song. I'm going to use this version of C1, the compressor gate, but I'm going to use it in sidechain mode so that I can use the vocal track to duck or attenuate the piano and only when the vocal is heard. Between the vocal pauses, the piano will revert back to its original state. Now, I have already added further effects to the vocal, simply to make it sit a little bit better in the mix. As you can see here, I've got this Waves R channel, 
and this is set up to compress an EQ so that I attenuate the lower frequencies and the very top harsher frequencies. I've also inserted Wave Super Tap, this two tap version, so that I've got a tempo synced echo, one on each side, the left and the right, and in fact, just to give it a little bit of reverb, I've brought in this instance of Waves Rverb. Now just to put this in perspective, what we were listening to earlier on, the vocal with the embedded reverb, that was actually a different track. These three inserted Waves plugins, R Channel, Super Tap and Rverb, are being inserted on a dry version, completely dry version of the track, this vocal file. So that's why I've got these here, just to make it sound that little bit better. But you'll also notice, if I come down to Sends, I'm sending this to another version of C1, and that particular version is inserted onto the piano track. And in fact, if I open up the piano track, we'll notice here is the insert, C1 compressor stereo. Now I've already set up my compressor settings for this piano. Now to make this work, we have to make sure that this instance of the C1 compressor is set to sidechain and we do it by activating that button there, that one that's illuminated in orange. This will now mean that whenever the vocal is heard, the piano will be ducked or sidechained or compressed by whatever compression settings we make, but that is, as I say, only when the vocal's heard. As soon as the vocal pauses in between phrases, then the piano will then be allowed to climb back up to the pre-compressed state. Have a listen, and what I'll do to finish up this tutorial is play around with these settings so that I can get the best balance between fairly transparent ducking of the piano when the vocal is heard, rather than I don't want it to go too far, I don't want it to be too obvious. So, have a listen. I've enjoyed talking to you for the last hour, so I hope to see you soon when we'll look further at different Waves plugins in Volume 2. Okay, see you later. Have a listen. Remember the time you were mine and you promised always there Cause I know that I do All our days turned to haze and vanished in the air I feel like we have to There isn't anything, baby That we can do Maybe we don't realize it's over now between me and you. Rereading the old letters that you sent only me. It's so much harder to accept after all this time of being only mine. I feel my heart. Red.